You're not supposed to estimate. You're supposed to discuss how you can use something to estimate to be able to, like if I said you can come up to the board and use something to estimate how long this is, what kind of things could you use, Avani? Your thumb. Your thumb? Okay, yeah. and how would you use your thumb? So let's write it. You would put your thumb to your first line mark by your knuckle, and then draw a line there, and then... So you would use your thumb, he's saying you would use your thumb up to here, to the line, and that equals one inch. So, up to line, Daniel? You could use an acorn as if it was an inch, and you could draw a line at the end. So, an acorn, she says an acorn equals about an inch. Okay, anything else? Jaden? So, he's saying, and this is what the other two have been saying, you would basically be drawing, if you were using um, your thumb or an acorn, you might be measuring like this. What you said where a foot might be. Where do you think, how, how would I be able to tell what a foot would be? Just do 12 inches to get a foot, okay? Anything anything besides that? So you know that an Expo marker is five inches? Let me give you um, something that I would do. Um, I personally know that construction paper, when it's cut like this, is nine by 12. Okay, so nine by 12, I could bring it up and do 12 inches. What do you have on your own desk that you know the measurement of? How many of you have a notebook on your desk? Could you use your notebook? Yes. Paper is, typical um, standard size lined paper is eight and a half by 11. So we could do 11 inches too. Should we measure this and see? Yes. yes. Anybody want to guess? Three feet. I mean, three feet. Three feet. It's about 36. Which was 36 inches, which was a yard. All of you guys were pretty much saying those. So Jake says the length of his bike is about four yards. Use the benchmark units below to determine if Jake's statement is reasonable. What they mean about benchmark is we know that these things are about this length. So we can use those to estimate with. We know that your thumb or your finger from here to this line where it folds is about an inch. Okay? We know that a license plate is about a foot long. Okay? A bat is about three feet long, which equals a yard, which you guys seem to know already. And a mile takes about 20 minutes to walk. So if you want to know how long a mile is, it's about 20 minutes from school. Okay, if it takes you 20 minutes to walk to school, like full on walking, not just kind of moseying, then it's, um, then it's about, if you're walking normal, it's about 20 minutes is about a mile. Um, a baseball bat is about one yard long. We already talked about that. Since Jake's bike is shorter than four times the length of the baseball bat, his bike is shorter than four yards. So he takes his baseball bat and he measures it and he gets that. Okay. Can he do three more? No. No. His bike is way shorter than that. So his bike is definitely shorter than four yards. So Jake's statement is not reasonable. Wait. Right? Jake's bike is about how many baseball bats long? Nicholas? One. About one. And here's even why, because here's where the baseball bat ends, really. Right? So if we moved it over, it's about one. Up here, it uses customary units of length. When we did the problem on the board, I asked for it in inches and feet. I didn't use customary, the word customary because I didn't know if you would know what that means. Does anybody know what customary units of length mean? How many of you have heard of metric? Centimeters, meters, millimeters. That's metric units of length. Then everything that's inches, feet, yards, that's customary. So there's two different types of measurements, customary and metric. Now that works with volume and weight also because you can measure length, you can measure volume, and you can measure weight. 
So when we talk about customary units of liquid, we talk in cups, pints, quarts, gallons, and even ounces. It's a fluid ounce. We call it a fluid <coughs> ounce. Like your standard cup. A cup would be, does anybody know how much a cup is? Jalen? How many ounces it is? Eight, eight, eight ounces. ounces. Right. So if you took a cup of water, a regular old cup of water, that would be about eight ounces. So, um, so a cup is eight fluid ounces. There's a pint. There's a quart. There's a half gallon. And there's a gallon. A pint is like the little ones you get at um, lunchroom. Lunch mm -hmm. A quart is when you go to the grocery store, they have they have gallons. You guys have all seen gallons. Yeah. And you've all seen the half gallon. It's the square, mm -hmm. like the big square that's like this. Yeah, like this. Rectangle. No, it's actually a square. Mm -hmm. It's a rectangle tall, but it's a square bottom. Oh. It's about like that. And then the um, quarts are the skinny ones. We usually buy eggnog in those. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. you don't want to drink a whole half gallon of eggnog. Oh. Um, but, but the little skinny ones that are that are the same thickness as the pint, but they're taller. Okay? So, how, about how much liquid do you think would be in a mug of hot chocolate? One cup? Did anybody get anything different? So, it's about a cup. What else equals about a cup, class? Eight, 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 fluid, ounces. eight fluid ounces. Okay, when we're looking at weight, <coughs> customary units of weight, weight, use ounces, pounds, and tons. Five pencils is about an ounce. A loaf of bread, with all the slices still there, is about a pound. And a car weighs about a ton. About how much do you think a grapefruit weighs? What do you think, Rachel? Uh, about Probably about a pound. And this is how we abbreviate pound. So now I was talking about metric. Uh, we did customary, now this is the metric. We've kind of already talked about it. A millimeter, a pin, is about, or a paper clip, the width, of, the like skinny part of the paper clip, it's about a millimeter. A centimeter is about across your, the um, width across your finger, this way. I think I just drew it. Um, a decimeter is about this. From here to here. I'm not going to write on my hand this time. Um, a door, across a door, is about a meter. It's also almost equivalent to a yard. So a meter and a yard are pretty close. They're not exactly, but they're close. A kilometer is about 10 minutes walking. OK. Is the length of your classroom greater <coughs> or less than a kilometer? Less. It is less than, it takes us less than 10 minutes to walk across our classrooms. Less, right. less than 10 seconds. Go ahead and write less. Okay, when we talk about volume, this is a dropper, the little dropper thing. A milliliter is about how much you would fit in the dropper. It's very little, even though it looks like it's a lot. Those are very, very thick walled. And so, um, so anyways, it's not very much. It's just a few drops. A liter is about what would you find in a medicine bottle. Can you pass a water bottle? Just to give you an idea, this is, I see it. It's right here. 500, what? Milliliters. So a liter would be how many of these? Two of them. Thank you very much. So 500 milliliters in one of these, two of them will equal a liter. How many of you have ever seen a two-liter bottle of soda? So think half of a two-liter bottle of soda, OK? Or two of these. This also shows you in ounces. This happens to be 16.9 ounces. So how many cups is that? Uh, Six, about two. About two. Very good. But about how much medicine is usually in a medicine bottle? About 120 
milliliters. A dollar bill is about a gram. Now we're talking about metric units of mass. A dollar bill has a mass of a gram. So it's very small, very light, right? A dollar bill is very light. A bat has about <coughs> one kilogram in weight. So about how much do you think the mass of a paper clip is? What do you think, Emil? One gram. About one gram. Use benchmarks to choose the metric unit you would like to measure each. So, what you would use to measure each. I'm using metric. If I forget what metric is, I can go back and look at my book. The measurement of a strawberry in metric, the mass of a strawberry in metric unit. Think about how much do you think that would be? Okay, what did you guys decide? About one gram. The length of a cell phone, which is also about the length of my eraser here. About one decimeter. <coughs> Do you think the width of my desk is about 10 meters? One meter! About one meter. The amount of liquid a punch bowl might hold. Think about it first. Don't just start throwing it out there. Do you think it would hold two liters, which we talked about two liter bottles, or do you think it would hold 20 liters, which would be like 10 two liter bottles? Think. Two, two liters. Okay, the distance between Seattle and San Francisco. <coughs> Seattle's in a whole different state. It's in Washington. Then there's Oregon, and then there's us, and San Francisco is halfway down our state. So do you think that that distance is about six miles or 680. I want you to think about it and then raise your hand. What do you guys think? 680.